It's the Hardwick Stakes next, over 12 furlongs, Group 2 for four-year-olds and up. Belladonna, Joshua Sutherland, Ishtu Duvere, Leon Van Rensburg, Getaway Junkie, Graham Clutterbuck, Highland Reel for Dan Hughes, Mercy Buku, Ryan Tamasevi, Phantom Paul Rhodes, San Antonio Pichi, Vinny Gerard, Swap, Aman, Alex Ince, Weapon of Yezero, Darren Thompson, Bon Mamam, Ryan Tamasevi, Cincinnati Raven, Vinny Gerard, Dazaki, Loma, Craig Allen, Here Zekin, Steve Ran, Lusoria Bauer for Craig Allen, and Queen of Night is your favourite for Leon Van Rensburg. And they're off and running here in the Hardwick. Queen of Night went down to post the favourite, but remains a maiden in this season. But many a place effort, I think it's never been out of the top four. Uh, so looking to end that luckless run of uh, races where she's just not got the race in room. But again, she's here against her stable mate, Ishtu Duvea, who's currently being held up towards the very rear of the field. And in fact, is the back marker looking to get back to winning ways after two placed efforts over the last two weeks but it's Belladonna, last year's Oaks winner and this season's Dubai Shima Classic winner who goes out into that familiar early lead for Joshua Sutherland in the black and red silks a couple of lengths gap back to Phantom for Paul Rhodes on the rail that one's racing on the inside of Graham Clutterbuck's getaway junkie Edisoria Bauer just in behind those that's one of two in the field for Craig Allen the other runner Dazaki Gomer is towards the rear of the field racing alongside Mercy Buku and the two Leon Van Rensburg runners have now passed Bon Mamam and relegated that one to be the back marker we know she'll be staying on at the end uh, given her and Mercy Buku are better over one mile six furlongs and racing over the shorter distance here at Ascot so could get a touch out pace then the Belladonna is going to make sure that that's a really decent pace being set still has a lead over getaway junkie swapper mam has moved up with Cincinnati Raven up on the outside widest of all on the track is here Zetkin that one's racing just on the outside of Highland Reel Highland Reel in the old blue silks they're racing up alongside Illusoria Bauer, Weapon of Yesero, just making some steady progress up the rail for Darren Thompson. Cincinnati Ravens just been caught in behind his, uh, behind Weapon of Yesero and Getaway Junkie. And is just struggling for racing room and the jockeys haven't to sit patiently on the Vinnie Gerard runner. Ishtu de Vera and Creek Queen of Night are now starting to make some progress as well. As is Bon Maman from the rear of the field and the back three have got it all to do as we come towards two and a half furlongs out. It's still Belladonna in the lead. Highland Reel's the one giving chase. Weapon of Yezer on the rail. Here's Ekin hard at work and trying to stay on. Looking for the Leon Van Rensburg runners. They're coming on the wide outside. Ishtu de Vere has got a march on Queen of Night. But both of them have still got a chance if they can get going as we approach the first long pole. It's Belladonna still in the lead. Highland Reel now really laying down a challenge. Weapon of Yezero here. Zetkin, the black horse, is now powering home. But just looks to be running out of steam. Weapon of Yezero hits the lead. Queen of Night. Ishtu de Vere. Illusoria Bauer rattling home as well. And Ishtu de Vere gets up and wins the Hardwick Stakes. Ishtu de Vere. Just looking for confirmation here. As uh, we see the replay. Ishtu de Vere yeah, gets up ahead of Weapon of Yezero. Queen of Night again got going really late in the day and powered on down the outside but wasn't able to reel in a stable mate or Darren Thompson's runner. A really exciting finish to the Hardwick Stakes there. Ishtu de Vier takes home the prize from Weapon of Yezero in second, Queen of Night third, Bon Mamam in fourth for Ryan Tamasevi in fifth, Illusoria Bauer for Craig Allen.